What a shame! You may hear someone say, "What a shame!" when they wish something was different, or they feel sad, upset, or disappointed about it. The supermarket is throwing away all that perfectly good food. What a shame! You might say, after seeing the dumpster behind a supermarket. Maybe you permanently injured your knee. What a shame! You won't be able to pursue ballet professionally anymore. Your sister might say. It's raining. What a shame! We had our picnic lunch all ready to go. You might say one morning to your family. As you can tell, the idiom "what a shame" means that you are sorrowful, unhappy, regretful, glum, or dejected that something is not or will not turn out the way you expected. "What a shame" is also often used in a sarcastic manner. You can use it when what you really mean is that you are happy something happened. He was fired for being late to work too many times. What a shame! You might sarcastically say about a very lazy coworker. Shame sounds a lot like ashamed. And so one might assume that "what a shame" means that something is embarrassing, disgraceful, dishonorable, but the truth is that none of these apply. "Shame on you" or "shamed and disgraced" are idioms which are equivalent to "ashamed," "humiliated," "mortified," or "loss of face." Shame used alone in a sentence also often has the same meaning. He is a shame to our family. I feel ashamed that someone related to us is a notorious criminal. Someone might say at a family reunion. What a shame! However. Does not mean disgrace, humiliation, or loss of face. It means that a situation is regrettable, unfortunate, displeasing, and you feel sorry that it didn't turn out differently. What a shame! And shame in many usages came to have the modern meaning of disappointment. Dismay, upset, and regret, at least as early as the start of the twentieth century, according to Sven Yargs on Stack Exchange. It is always a shame when things don't go as we planned, but the bigger shame would be to let setbacks or misfortunes. Discourage us from trying again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Goes the familiar proverb. Indeed, if you are able to give it another go, then you should. Of course, the idiom "What a shame." Is not only used for situations in which difficulties or setbacks are enormous, but can also be used for trivial or trifling matters as well. You dropped the last cookie on the floor. What a shame! You can't eat it now. You might say to your toddler. Perhaps you break up with your girlfriend, 
because a long distance relationship was too stressful, and your friend says, What a shame! She was such a great person. What a shame that these forest fires have destroyed our favorite provincial park, you might lament to your hiking buddy. So, the next time you encounter an unfortunate, unhappy, unwelcome, unfavorable, or undesirable circumstance, don't forget to exclaim, What a shame!